For this problem, we're going to solve for x and the inequality negative 12 over x plus 7 is greater than x. First, we want to get the right side equal to 0. So we're going to subtract x from both sides so that we have negative 12 over x plus 7 minus x is greater than 0. Next, we want to subtract both the numbers on the left side using a common denominator of x plus 7. Simplifying the left side gets us negative x squared minus 7x minus 12 all over x plus 7, which is greater than 0. Lastly, we can multiply both sides by negative 1 so that we have x squared plus 7x plus 12 all over x plus 7 is less than 0. Now we can find the values of x that make the left side of the inequality equal to 0 using the equation x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. Solving this equation, we get x equals negative 3 or negative 4. We can also find the values of x that make the inequality undefined using the equation x plus 7 equals 0. Solving this equation, we get x equals negative 7. Now we're going to use this number line to find the values of x that make the inequality a true statement. We're going to do this by plugging in values of x from each region. For x equals negative 8, we have negative 8 squared plus 7 times negative 8 plus 12 all over negative 8 plus 7, which is equal to negative 20. Since this number is negative, this means that x values less than negative 7 will make the left side of the inequality negative. For x equals negative 5, we have negative 5 squared plus 7 times negative 5 plus 12 all over negative 5 plus 7, which is equal to 1. Since this number is positive, this means that x values between negative 4 and negative 7 will make the left side of the inequality positive. For x equals negative 3 and a half, we have negative 3 and a half squared plus 7 times negative 3 and a half plus 12 all over negative 3 and a half plus 7 which is equal to negative 1 14th. Since this number is negative, this means that x values between negative 3 and negative 4 will make the left side of the inequality negative. For x equals 0, we have 0 squared plus 7 times 0 plus 12 all over 0 plus 7, which is equal to 12 sevenths. Since this number is positive, this means that x values greater than negative 3 will make the left side of the inequality positive. To make the inequality a true statement, the left side must be less than 0. This means that x must be less than negative 7 or between negative 3 and negative 4. So x ranges from negative infinity to negative 7 exclusive or negative 4 exclusive to negative 3 exclusive. And this is the final answer.